In this video we're going to have a look at how we can convert our navigation that we had before that was one after the other on separate lines into this horizontal navigation and we're going to add some hover effects so that the background colors of our buttons change uh, when we hover the mouse over them. And to this we're going to have a look at the inline block property which is a display property which we can use with, uh, with any element that we have in our CSS. Okay, so if we have a look at back at what we're up to now, we have this kind of navigation, which is fine, um, but you tend to see it going horizontally across the page. There's actually not too much that we need to do to change that. Uh, if we look back in our CSS, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this padding that's in our nav section to get rid of all the space around the outside here. So I'm just going to delete that line out for now, and you can see straight away it changes over here. Then I need to add some new rules, and I want to apply these rules to both the list items and the anchor tags that are within our nav section. So everything that we have in here. So if we have a look back at our HTML. And we zoom in to have a look a bit closer here. We've got all of these buttons, like the home button here. You, they're all list items, so they're our ally tags. And then you have the anchor tag, which of course creates that link. Uh, so we need to apply this display property to both the anchor tags and the list items. To do that, we're going to use grouped tags. So remember that's nav ally, and then you separate them by a comma. And then the next one is going to be nav a. Then we have our curly brackets like before, and we're going to use the display property, and it's going to be inline block. Now if I save that and go back to my live preview, you can see straight away they're all on the same line. Now because we removed all of that padding before, there's no gap between them. Uh, and we need to create a bit of space there. So because I know that my next step is going to be adding some hover effects, just like we've got with the text here, and I want the whole background color to change as well, I'm going to put the padding on the A tag, and then I'll show you what happens if you put it on the ally tag instead. So let's go down to our nav A section that we have here, and we're going to add some padding, and let's just put 20 pixels top, right, bottom, and left and see how that looks over in our live preview. That's looking a lot better now. I think perhaps it's a little bit too high, so I'm going to change it so that we have uh, just 10 pixels at the top and bottom, and then 20 pixels left and right, and I think that's looking a little bit nicer now. Okay, so now over here on the, the left in our CSS, we have our nav a colon hover, and remember this is the pseudo element that allows us to change the properties of that CSS when we hover our mouse over the anchor tags that are in the nav section. At the moment we've just changed the color, which is of course a text color, but if we change the background color to white, and save that, and you go over here, and now you can see we have a very nice effect, uh, and this button seems to mesh in with the rest of our page, and that looks pretty good. We've got the hover effects on our buttons, and it's looking good. Uh, just for demonstration purposes, if we put this padding, instead of on nav A, if we put that, if I cut that out and put it in a new tag on the list items, you'll see it still looks the same before we hover over something, but now when I hover over it, because the hover effect is only on the anchor tag and the padding is in fact on the ally tag, we don't get the background color around the edges. So that's why it's really important that we do put this in the right place. So I'll paste it back in here in the nav A section and delete the padding from the nav LI section. And you can see that's looking pretty good. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. A nice short one, but quite an important one showing you how to make a horizontal navigation like this. And the key part of it was setting the display property of these navigation elements uh, to inline block. And what that essentially does is it allows them to wrap up against each other. So rather than having one on one line, the next one being forced onto the next line and so on, they can all go onto the same line until they fill up that whole line. Notice that if we had uh, a smaller window, if we make this window just a little bit narrower, they will wrap around, just like you'd expect, uh, because there's no space, so they wrap onto the second line. This is really important if you're designing a responsive website, that it will adjust to the, the width of your window. Okay, so that's it for this video. Have a go, make sure you can do the same thing in your website. Think about the color scheme that you want so that maybe it matches the bottom or the top or maybe you use an accent color to highlight these. Uh, and then we'll look in the next video at how we can put this navigation up the top and fix it so that when we scroll down, it stays in view.